Okay, so now let's try and create a constraint using XSI. So we'll go to the modeling mode and create a uh, cube primitive. That all looks fine. Now I'll press the X button to scale it. And I'll scale it down in the Y direction. Then I'll create another primitive polygon mesh cube. I'll make this cube a smaller one. Okay, press the V button so I can move the object around. And then I'll make another cube that this one will join to. So let's maybe make it into a nice location. Um, and I'll go primitive polygon mesh cube. So this is the last cube we'll need. Make this one a slightly larger one. And again, let's move this cube into position. So actually, I might move both these cubes a little bit higher up. So we can see a little bit more of what goes on. I'll select this cube here. Press V again. Move it here. So the plan is to have the two connected in that corner there. So the next step what we'll do is we'll move over to the simulation mode here and we'll create rigid bodies out of everything. So we'll make this an active rigid body, it's all good. Select the next cube over here, um, rigid body active again, it's all good. And now let's select the ground and we'll make this a passive rigid body. Okay, so let's just preview what we've got so far. Again, I need to add the gravity force, so adding in gravity. Okay, so now let's preview what we have. We can see here, I press S to get into the camera move mode, and right click to change the viewpoint, um, and let's get out of the camera view mode. So press the play button, and you can see that the two boxes drop down onto the ground. So what we want to do now is create a constraint. So I go to rigid body and say rigid constraint ball and socket. So I need to choose a location for the constraint, well, which it just automatically placed there this time, and pick the first body I want it to connect to, and then the second body I want it to connect to. And there we go. So now I have my ball and socket constraint. Press V and I can move it up into its position up here in the top corner and that's all I should need to do. If I press the play button you can see the two bodies fall and they're connected to each other now in that corner. And that's pretty much it.